just looking at my last couple of vlogs, I have started to look very, very tired. Good morning, everybody. Look at these flowers from my mum's garden. They are stunning. It's Monday morning. You can probably hear the wind. Um, it's like a Dracula movie, the wind whizzing around uh, my flat and it stopped raining, so I'm about to go out. I've got a very busy day today. Actually, I'm in my autumn attire. This is my lovely Italian mohair knit cardigan. I actually look forward to wearing this, even though, as you know, I am not an autumn person. Um, I thought as I just chatted before I went out, I may as well start to get ready, put my makeup on, only because I love watching people put makeup on. Um, and I just thought I'd do it as I'm chatting to you. You know, I, hardly anything's changed. I'm using the same thing. Uh, this is the Chanel Soleil de Tan. Have I got that right? I think I'd know, wouldn't you? So I use this basically um, as my foundation because I don't wear foundation. I just use this to give me a bit of colour. Um, so yes, today I have, tonight, I am doing, by the way, these earrings are from Amsterdam. I got them ages ago, they're vintage with um, squashed bees. Sorry, that's rather, probably not very nice, but I'm sure they died of natural causes. Let's hope they did. Um, yeah, I love them uh, from Amsterdam. I don't wear them that often, I keep forgetting I've got them. So, uh, Code 8 concealer, paid for, sent off for this. I was at the Code 8 launch of their lipstick parties last week on last week's vlog and uh, was raving about this. I bought it. It wasn't sent to me, not gifted. I love it because of the sponge at the end. This is my beauty blender which I have washed um, and it is damp. It goes this colour because you can't actually wash all the staining out, but it is as clean as I can get it. When you do this, you see how many blemishes I actually have. So yes, I am off now to meet George at the Apollo Theatre in Victoria because it is the anniversary of Wicked. And I wonder how many of you, um, Yves Saint Laurent grey eyebrow pencil, Freya Barker, if you're watching from Phoenix, she introduced me to this. Oh gosh, I have tried everything else on the block. This just suits my colouring. I don't want great big dark brows. I don't have many brows, many hairs, so this just suits it. Down to the ground. Um, pinch of colour, sustainable, they do not use water. I think it's a Korean brand, love the smell. All it is, is a sheer highlighter. It actually hardly does anything. It just makes me glow a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm sure I put everything on the wrong way around. We all do it differently, but don't we? Um, so yes, 15 years of Wicked, and I am going to interview Stephen Schwartz, who is one of the composers. And uh, this is a MAC liner stick. Sorry about the mouth. Might have to do a time lapse on this, Philippe. Do you know, I don't know what, I have no idea what this mascara is. Nadine gave me this. I have no, oh. Long com. No wonder I love it. Oh my gosh, Longcom. I used to wear Longcom mascaras all the time. And then I moved on to a cheaper brand, stupidly. Oh no wonder this is great. I'm not sure what Longcom mascara this is, but I will endeavor to find out and I'll put the details of everything I am wearing underneath. So yes, I am off to interview Stephen Schwartz, who was one of the composers of Wicked at the Apollo Theatre at Victoria and we will play that out on my show tomorrow night but tonight 
which is why this flat has to remain immaculate, I am doing the whole show from here. So we try to do as many Joe's house parties as possible. We've only done one so far. This will be the second one. The first one went very well. Code 8, oh my gosh, I love this. Nude gloss. Mm. I love it because it's just like a balm. Mm. Tiny little bit of Shantikai. Tiny, tiny bit of blush. Um, and that's about it, everybody. Maybe another layer of the Lancôme mascara. I love this mascara because it separates and it's waterproof. So yes, the show is coming from me from here tonight always apprehensive because never know if everyone's going to turn up never know if everyone's going to get on that is the biggest it's like holding a dinner party having never let the guests meet beforehand right that is all i'm going to wear because it's day i wasn't going to wear any just to just to go out what am i wearing so i'm wearing uh, as i say my italian beautiful uh, mohair cardi. Um, this is a toast t-shirt and a Joseph skirt. Right, and I'm gonna wear a black leather jacket, I think. Oh, it's all a rush, isn't it? I'll see you outside the Apollo. <laughs> I bet there's loads of people watching this who've been here more than once. I think I've been to see this probably five times. Oh, I can see George. Okay. Very well, the sun's out. Lovely and sunny, I'm sure you are. Yeah. How many times have you seen this? I've seen it, I think only the once, but it was years ago when I was a child and I bought the Wicked T-shirt as well, just so saying, I went home in it, it was brilliant. I was just saying, how many people have got the merch? I think yeah. I've seen it five times because I've had friends in it. Joe's got but the broomstick. Is, I've got the broomstick. <laughs> I've got the broomstick, but also I brought my godson to see it. It's just, you know, it's just, it's addictive. Um, Stephen Schwartz, thank you very much indeed. And your whole reason for being over here is? Uh, well, first of all, I'm here for the 15th anniversary of Wicked. Here we're in, in a little room at the Apollo Victoria Theatre, and uh, the 15th anniversary is tomorrow. Um, but then I'm going to go and check up on Prince of Egypt, and I'm going to go to the concert of uh, Children of Eden at Cadogan Hall and, you know, see, see a few of my, my kids, visit a few of my kids. <laughs> They are his kids. He's responsible for a lot of employment for actors here in the West End. Stephen, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Great. Matilda, look. 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 George is not only a brilliant Hello. producer. I'm a happy man as well. He is actually setting up... He's setting up. I'm going to have to turn Miles Davis off, otherwise I have to log it. No, I have to you log have it. To lock it. Um, so this is the calm, literally before the storm. This is our second Monday night Joe's house party. I've decided to wear my pajamas. Um, Matilda's obsessed with George. Just stares. Just stares. Look, she absolutely loves him. Um, so this is what the show comes out of. That. That. Apparently, We've got a host to, of guests. Just to interrupt, before um, I came here, Nathan, who works at Radio London, said that this is about as simple as it gets. It's really simple and um, 
foolproof, so we'll wait and see. Well, we've done it once, so let's hope we can do it again. It's going to be a different tone, this one. It's a bit, a lot more arty, this one, because we've got Very actors, arty. yeah, and we've got someone who's an art curator, actually. We've got Rosamund Shelley, who's head of the housing of our residence. I think we've got people... Lady so Cox, should... she's called Lady Cox. I keep interrupting you. No, go on. Um, I think we've got people that are going to break the rules a bit more on this one. Well, Lana Pillay's here, so that's... Well, everyone, because we're all actors. Yes, exactly. So. Paolo's coming up from uh, the Italian restaurant downstairs. He has literally no idea. He came up at 10 o'clock this morning, thinking I meant 10 o'clock this morning. Um, so, yes, hopefully he's going to bring food. If not, we've got Snuffles, the Hackney brand, Aunt Min's glasses... I better get out the Pinot. I don't think they're called Suffles. I think they're called Suffles. Suffles, that's right. <laughs> and some Pinot. Anyway, I must help George. Oh, hello. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to do my cart walk <laughs> for a woman at my time of life. <laughs> I'm 92 now. No closer. Thank you. <laughs> Oh dear, poor George. It's almost the end of the show. We've got five minutes left. And um, it's been real. Oh God, like Eric Morgan. It's been a brilliant show. Brilliant show. Um, and George has got a car to take him home, but he's ordered it from Broadcasting House at the BBC. I could drive you to Broadcasting no, House. No, no, you need to go to bed. You're in your pyjamas. No, I can drive you easily. How long have you got left on the I've got it. Um, oh, I don't know. What turn have you been this, doing? this is, anyway. It's been a great night. If you want to hear it, go to BBC Sounds and listen again. Yeah, BBC Sounds. Type in Joe Good and you'll find it. Hi, um, could I please get a... I've got a taxi on the way. I really this is, right, this is really late. It's now... What's the time? Um, it is nearly 20 past one. And I am still in my pyjamas. Right your car is here. I can't see it. Matilda wants to go in. Where is your car? I don't know. Is it not round the corner? No, it's not here. No, you should have a bike. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're going to... What a night. Oh, what a night. Thing is, George, what time are you getting up? Cause... I'm going to get up at about 9.30 probably. My God. What time are you going to get up? You get up really early. I do, because Matilda gets up early. I get up at five. Well, but I won't tomorrow. To... Shall I leave you to a piece of camera? Don't you yourself? love... <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Matilda's gone to bed. We're just wandering... It's like, I love Marylebone like this. Oh, look, it's a half moon as well. Yes, I it mean, is. I don't know what that means for you, but like, God knows. It's wonderful. That could be my heart. Maybe not. Actually, no. <laughs> Billy, put music over this. Good Matilda. Call. This is the end of an era. Why? Because this car is being traded in for another. This racing green Mini with my logo on the side. I don't know how I'm going to replace that logo because a friend did that for me and um, she's left the BBC. She did it, a mate. Um, subscribed to Middle Age Minx on the side of my car, which made everybody in Marylebone laugh. Anyway. This car now, I'm taking it in for a new car because it's five years old and I don't own my car, um, I lease it. So, um, and uh, do you know, the, my what's really upset me more than anything, this has got almost a full tank of petrol in. And if you're watching this on Sunday, the 1st of October, I think it is, you'll know we've had a hell of a situation with petrol over here in the UK. Um, none being delivered. Well, it's being delivered, but the people panic buying. Well, anyway, um, and I've got a full tank of petrol. Never mind. Um, so I'm going to Park Lane. To this is where I always get my minis, and I'm going to see the wonderful Tom. And I've actually got him a gift. In fact, I'm going to show you what I got him. This is what I got him. Le Labo. He. He, he's been on my vlog a couple of times. He's a lovely young man. And um, he wears, when I first met him, and he always 
he always deals with the cars for me. And when I first met him, I said to him, are you wearing Le Labo? Because I live opposite the Le Labo store in Marylebone and the scent floats all the way down the high street. And um, he said, yes, I, I wear Santel, which is their signature scent. And whenever he's sort of, I, he, he puts the air in my tires and all this sort of thing. And he always leaves this wonderful smell of Santel. So I got him the Santel body wash just as a thank you because he's incredibly patient with me because I'm, you know, I, I know nothing about car. I've been driving a car, this, that has everything. This car can do everything. It's got satellite, it's got Bluetooth. I don't use any of it. I just listen to the radio. I don't use Bluetooth. I don't understand the computer. It's an absolute waste of money. And I've been paying for that every single month. So I said, you know, Tom, I've got to, I've got to get a cheaper car. I still want a Mini, obviously, but not with all these. What was I thinking of? Anyway, so that's it. Goodbye, dear Mini. You have served me well. Oh, don't you love this? This is my Code 8 nude lip balm. I absolutely love it. I got it for the summer, but do you know I think I'm going to keep wearing it in the winter because it is so natural. And I need to tell you, I have a discount code which I would leave below for any Code 8 products. Um, it's 15% off, but I will leave that. Never miss an opportunity to promote a lipstick, Joe. Um, the links are below. Right, here I go, part lane. I would love to say that that is my new car, but it's not. I think the payments for that would be quite a lot, but I love it. Here he is. Oh, no, no. Here he is. So is this the one we've decided on then, Thomas? Yeah, I mean, I think it would go well with my trousers, yeah, I was gonna say, wouldn't nice, it? Nice 60s retro vibe, I think. They'd see me coming. Yeah. God, that is gorgeous. This is Thomas. Everyone remembers Thomas. Hello. You change every time I see you. Natural You probably wondered about the title of this vlog. I just wanted to explain that over the past couple of weeks, and I never use lighting, I don't add any filters or anything. Um, just looking at my last couple of vlogs, I have started to look very, very tired. And this is because my whole schedule has changed, as you know. If you listen to my radio show, I've moved from a daytime show to a nighttime show, and I get home here at about half past one in the morning. And I can, you know, I've got the sort of energy, I've worked as an actress for years, I can work at night, it's just switching over. And it has been a big adjustment, um, as far as my sleep is concerned. Um, and also, you will know, if you've watched me long enough, um, uh, in the middle of, I think it was around about Christmas, I was diagnosed with late onset asthma. Now, <laughs> You know, I was determined this wasn't going to affect my life and I went for acupuncture, which really, really helped. Um, and I am not a doctor and I just want to say to everybody, if you have asthma, and I know a lot of you do because you left messages under here, keep with whatever medication you're on and what treatment you're on. But for me, acupuncture absolutely sorted me out. Sorted out my breathing, sorted out the symptoms, but came at a price. It is expensive, especially as I was going to an acupuncture clinic here in Harley Street, which was fantastic. And I will continue to go uh, from time to time, but I couldn't afford it every single week. So I was sent this, and it's called a bed of nails, which is self-explanatory. It's, oh my gosh, I mean, I know it's not all to do with aesthetics, but just how beautiful is this white on linen? But anyway, 
it's not meant to be my interiors. It's meant to be uh, to help me and to aid me to relax and to sleep and to breathe. And it absolutely does. It's basically, let me get rid of the bolster, it is a bed of nails. Um, it's all, it's, as I said, it's Scandinavian and it's organic linen filled with, I think it's coconut fiber. Um, and these are plastic nails, which are recycled plastic. They don't use glue. So it is far more sustainable than um, probably a lot of other similar, if there are similar um, products. Um, and it's quite addictive. So what I do is I lie on this between 10 or 20 minutes a day. I'm wearing my t-shirt and shorts in the privacy of my own home. I will actually lie on this with bare skin on the nails. You build up your stamina. I'm telling you one of the best things to do with this is to stand on it. When you stand on it, you feel all of your pressure points are being stimulated. And that's basically what it is. It's working on your pressure points, which ironically creates energy, but also helps you to relax, which is exactly what acupuncture does for me. Um, so I use this every single night when I get home, and I try to use it in the afternoon before I set off for work in the evening. This, oh my gosh, so this is the little bolster that you put behind your neck. I put it on my scalp because my scalp is really stressed. My hairdresser, when she washes my hair, says, I can feel the stress in your scalp. So I lie on it probably for about five minutes at night before I go to sleep. You can actually, you build up your resistance. You, oh gosh, it's like giving yourself a massage. Um, you can actually go to sleep on it. And what I love, so I'm heading off to my mum's. They both come in lovely little tote bags. So you can take them with you wherever you go. If maybe you go to a Pilates class or a yoga class and they allow you to relax at the end in Shavasana, why not take your own little bolster, your own little bed of nails and use that at the end of your class? Anyway, thank you for sending it to me. This is not a paid for ad. However, they are offering 15% off if anybody would like their own set of bed and nails. You don't have to get both. You can get either uh, the mat or the bolster or invest in both. I'll leave the details. I'll leave the details, actually. I'll leave the website, but also the link if you would like 15% off. And as I say, for me, it's absolutely what helps with my situation, which is sleep and breathing. So um, that's it. I'm going to leave it here this week. Thank you if you stuck with me all the way through. Um, I'm going to try and record uh, what people are wearing in Chelsea next week. I promised it. I'm going to try and do that. So watch this space. That will go out on Wednesday um, if I do it. If not, I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. I'm walking. Yeah, the